Hey everyone, this is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting, informative video. So this is the second video of the series that I've started, which is the ServiceNow exam guide. So I have mentioned you that regarding all kind of ServiceNow exam details, you know, new updates, new release uh, about the Delta exam, all those things I will publish in this particular playlist, right? Already I have published one video, which was the last video where I've shown you all the details of the ServiceNow CSA exam for the Vancouver release. What are the changes up to which date you'd be able to give the CSA exam? Also, I discussed with you each and every detail of the new syllabus of the Vancouver release. Also, I've shown you how different playlists from my channel will help you to prepare and clear your CSA exam. So you can see uh, my name and I've got the successfully certification requirements for Vancouver Del Delta certified system administrator. So my Delta exam has completed on 21 November. And now I would tell you each and everything that you need to know. Also, uh, the different questions that can come. What are the number of attempts? I also, I'll show you who are the people who are eligible for this uh, Vancouver Delta exam, right? Each and every details about the Delta exam I would share with you. So make sure you watch the full video to clear your understanding. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section and also ask me personally in my Insta. All right, so what is ServiceNow Delta exam? What do we understand by that? So ServiceNow Delta exam is designed to keep your mainline certification like CSA or the CAD like certified application developer. So certification current with the latest ServiceNow platform advancements, right? So I would explain you this, but let me give you a great news. Uh, you would love it. That is that it's an open book. So non-proctored assessment. So nobody's going to see you. You don't need to go somewhere to give this exam. So you can directly sit on your laptop and open the now learning portal and you can give the exam. I'll tell you more about that in the video. But all I'm trying to say is the open book exam. So you can take help from the Internet. So that won't be a problem, right? So this is the good point. And finally, uh, this Delta exam is useful to, you know, you can see ensure your skills and knowledge stay up to date with the new features and capabilities introduced in the latest ServiceNow release. So suppose you have earned the CSA certification in the Tokyo release like I did also, right? And then after that, there is a Utah release and now we have the Vancouver release, right? So, so this Delta exam would help you to, you know, to stay you up to date with the new updates or the new features that are coming on the new release of ServiceNow. So definitely this Delta exam will contain questions which is related to the new features which is coming up in the new release like the Vancouver here. So more about the, the question pattern and all about this, I will discuss you later in this video. So keep watching again. So I think you got an idea about the Delta exam, right? So this is very, very important to keep your mainline certification up to date, right? That's the thing. Now, second very important slide, that's the frequency of Delta exam. So prior to November 2023, ServiceNow used to follow biannual Delta exam cycle. So what do I mean by biannual? So it's like you have to give, you had to give the Delta exam twice in a year after every major release. Now, what do I mean by major release? So already I've explained it in the last video that in every year, ServiceNow conducts two major releases. Like for an example, in 2023, we had the major release in the month of March which was the Utah. Now in the November, we have the Vancouver, right? So in the same happened in the year of 2022 also. Now, for an example, if a person clears their CS examination in the Paris, right? In the year of 2021, uh, March, when the Paris released, in the Paris version, they cleared their CSA exam, right? Right after Paris, the next major release happened is Rome in the year of 2021, November, Rome. So again, after the release of Rome, that person had to give the Delta exam in the Rome release because there is a major release and there are new updates and to make up to date the certification, they have to give the exam. Then in the last year, March, San Diego release come. So they had given on the San Diego release and again, they have given in the Tokyo release, right? After every major release, you have to give this Delta exam so that your certification remain current and also you stay up to date with every new features that are coming on every new release, right? Now you are, I think now it's clear the importance of the Delta exam, right? Now, after the Tokyo, currently there is one Delta exam per year scheduled for November of each year. So now we only have to give one single Delta exam on each on every year. I'll make you understand more clear with this uh, table. Already I've shown you this table in the last video, but I didn't discuss about the Delta part. So you can see in the Utah version, which is released on March and the exam maintenance again i discussed about it in the last video so the certification has started from april 25 you had become eligible for giving the you know certification csa exam certification on the utah 
and there was no delta exam for the utah so like me like i have cleared my csa exam on the tokyo version right and then i did not give any delta exam on utah because there was no delta exam on utah okay and i've given the vancouver one so yearly once and it's in the month of november so i've given the vancouver one now vancouver delta exam is available till february 13 also the mainline exam like csa exam for vancouver and also the delta exam it's available till february 13 after that you won't be able to give it now you understand the changes that has happened in the delta exam from last year so now we only have one exam per year which is in november so that means so if you're giving the delta exam right now then in the next release which would be probably washington so you don't need to give any delta exam on the washington again you would give the next release which will come you know next year november all right i think you got the idea so now very importantly we will see who can give this csa delta exam this vancouver release which is started from november uh, if you have cleared your csa certification based on any prior release than vancouver if you clear your CSA examination in the Utah release and also in the Tokyo release, you have to give this Delta exam. Now, if you clear your CSA exam based on the Vancouver release, which is just released uh, in the month of November, then you don't need to give any Delta exam. It's understandable, right? Because if you are giving the CSA exam based on the Vancouver release, so you are already dealing with the new features and new stuff on the Vancouver, you are already up to date, right? So again, you will give uh, the Delta exam in the next year, in the next year, November, right? So now CSA Delta exam formats, what are the formats? That's very, very important. So time to complete. So you'd get time around 60 to 90 minutes. So for me, it was like a 80 minutes time. So uh, one hour, 20 minutes. Okay, uh, which I've given on 21st November. Number of questions, 10 to 15 MCQ questions was there. So for me, it was uh, 10, I believe 10 or 11. Okay, content. The question specifically targets new features, changes and updates introduced in the latest version, which is Vancouver. The question will come from there and I will give you the link uh, from where you can prepare for it. It's a very one page, uh, you know, exam guide, uh, which ServiceNow has published that would really help you to clear your exam. At least it helped me a lot. I'll come to that in a minute. Passing marks. Now ServiceNow never disclosed the passing marks, but it generally around 70%. You have to cut it minimum seven questions out of 10, minimum seven questions. Now you will get five attempts. Now this is very important. So if in the first attempt you have not scored the passing marks, then you will get another four att attempts, right? This is also very good. So you will get open book exam. Okay, no proctor stuff will be there. So nobody will be watching you. Uh, second thing that you will get five attempts. 10, 15 MCQ questions you will get. And now I will show you the contents from where it will come. I think up to this point, all is clear. Again, if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. So now I'll share you the, now I'll share you the link. So you can see ServiceNow certified system administrator Delta exam study guide, which is released six days ago. And it is the Vancouver release. And you can see this is the stuff you have to read basically. Okay. So these are all the thing you can see study guide content. And the question will come based on that. At least for me, I have read this and also I've heard from few of my friends. So they have read this and they got all the questions coming from this, you know, maybe one, two, three, four, five paragraph. So read this carefully and also I believe if you are giving the Delta exam, you are quite confident about the knowledge of this ESA. Again, if you have doubt on any topic, you can go and check out the videos in my channel. And for the Delta exam, this, this piece of web page would be enough. At least again, I'm telling for my own experience and also I've heard with different people. So they have cleared their, uh, you know, Delta exam by reading this. So it is mentioned what are the new features and stuff that is introduced in ServiceNow. So also you can give the exam and you can open this if you need help. Again, it's an open book exam. So <laughs> what should I say? Okay, now the location, it's very simple. Like the now learning portal, you have to go to the now learning portal. So you will get the pop-up that, you know, there is a risk one or more credentials at risk of expiring with a message. So there you have to give the, you know, Delta exam, right? So that is all about it, guys. So if you have, again, any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. That's all about the Delta exam. And I will create another video for the next year uh, delta exam so uh, i hope this video will help you so the, after the delta clearing the delta exam the next target would be to become a service now certified uh, application developer which is the cad certification so i've already started videos on cad so there is a separate playlist all the details you can find in the description of my video so see you in my next video bye bye take care